I got my bachelor's and master's degree in mechanical engineering a couple years back. And after graduating, I worked as a full-time mechanical engineer for about four years in Boston and Silicon Valley. It's been a hell of a ride so far, but it wasn't all fun and games throughout this journey, especially when it came time for me to declare and lock in my major in university. In retrospect, this was by far one of the hardest decisions I had to make in my life because I knew once my major was set in stone, there was no going back. And in that moment, I thought that the major I chose was going to seal my fate forever. Now the major I declared when applying to universities wasn't mechanical engineering. So I wanna share exactly how, why, and when I switched to mechanical engineering and not some other engineering discipline like double E or computer engineering. As kids, we're taught to study hard, get good grades, and do well on tests so that we can get into a good university, land a high paying job, and make our parents proud. But no one actually teaches us a systematic way of choosing a major that we won't regret. We're sort of just thrown in at the deep end and expected to magically know what we wanna do in life. So in this video, my hope is to help all of you struggling to decide on an engineering major, better navigate the decision-making process, and to clear away some foolish misconceptions that I had about my major and university. I attended Boston University, which is ranked at number 10 in biomedical engineering and number 34 in engineering on US News. And as you probably guessed, biomedical engineering was my major going into university. So why did I choose biomedical engineering? engineering as a naive high schooler who knew very little about engineering. I took AP calculus, statistics, physics, biology, and chemistry in high school. And despite being challenging, I ended up doing pretty well in these and enjoyed the material. I didn't really know what engineers did exactly, but I did know they needed to be somewhat good at math and science. So I sort of fit the bill in that regard. The second reason is I grew up in a Chinese household and Chinese parents usually want their kids to study medicine law, business, or some type of STEM related major. Now, my parents never forced me to pick a particular major, but they did pay for my tuition all the way from elementary school through college. So I felt I was obligated to pick a major that would at least make them feel semi-proud. Before applying to universities, I did some Googling to see what mechanical, electrical, software, and biomedical engineers do. And in that moment, biomedical engineering appealed to me the most because it was a field where I felt I could make a positive and direct impact on patients by engineering life-saving and life-changing medical equipment like surgical robotics, artificial limbs, and ECMO machines. I finally made the decision to switch to mechanical engineering during the spring semester of my freshman year when I took an intro course called Mechanical Design for Manufacture within the Mechanical Engineering Department. This is a course that every engineering student had to take and it covered a little bit of everything from mechanics and materials to manufacturing processes to mechanical design the professor was a very charming guy called Theo De Winter who made the class very interesting and captivated students through storytelling. He's probably one of the most hated professors amongst biomedical engineering professors at our school due to the sheer number of students he has convinced to switch from biomedical to mechanical engineering. A story he always tells all of his students is one time he was taking an Uber around Boston and was chatting with the driver. He told the driver that he was a mechanical engineering professor at Boston University and the driver goes, no way, I also study engineering at Boston University. It's a small world. Theo then asked the driver, are you a graduate student or something working part-time as an Uber driver? The driver says, no, I actually study biomedical engineering and I'm having trouble finding a job. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? After he finishes telling the story, he says to the entire class, and I quote, if you're currently a biomedical engineering student, go ahead and do yourself a huge favor and switch over to mechanical engineering right after this lecture. Now, whether his story is true or not is besides the point. The point is, after hearing his story, reality hit me hard. And it was the first time I was actually scared for my life. I knew I had my work cut out and I needed to reevaluate 
update my options in terms of what biomedical and mechanical engineering offered in terms of job opportunities, security, and outlook. I immediately eliminated double E and computer engineering because they sort of lacked the hands-on aspect of engineering that I valued. So what I did was I did a side-by-side -side comparison of biomedical and mechanical engineering and mechanical was really better in every aspect. There were more jobs, it was much broader, the pay was better, and it seemed to have a much brighter future. Most importantly, the versatility of mechanical engineering was the selling point for me. I could still work on things in the medical industry that biomedical engineers work on and transition into a completely different industry to design say iPhones or these fancy minimalist wallets by Exter, the sponsor of today's video. Exter is the leading maker of smart minimalist wallets offering top-notch quality, a futuristic design, and cutting-edge RFID blocking technology. Exter wallets are ultra slim, freeing you from the burden of traditional bulky wallets and come in a wide variety of colorways and materials. One of my favorites is their carbon fiber wallet made from 3K space grade carbon fiber commonly used in aircraft fuselages, so the wallet is extremely light and will last for ages. You can fit up to 6 cards in this slot and additional 6 cards in this back plate for a total of 12 cards. You can also hold your cash in the front with the rubber band. All of Exter's wallets feature a trigger mechanism at the bottom for easy access so you're always ready to pay no matter how fast life moves. If you're like me who's always losing things, for an extra $36, Exter has a tracker card that slides effortlessly into this slot. If you're a fan of letter wallets, Exter's got you covered. This is the Parliament, which is Exter's stylish flagship wallet made from premium environmentally friendly leather that features an aluminum card holder and can hold up to 12 cards. I partnered with Exter to give you guys an exclusive discount. Get 25% off using my personal link or code EGW in the description below. Now, even though all of the evidence and data strongly suggested that I needed to make the switch from biomedical to mechanical engineering, it still took took me a solid three weeks to actually pluck up the courage to submit the official change of major form to our school. A large part of this fear stemmed from my inexperience with making important decisions and my obsession with the fact that Boston University was ranked number 10 for biomedical engineering and not mechanical engineering, which is just pure stupidity looking back now. So if you're thinking about switching majors, just know that it's totally okay to feel scared, but at some point you'll have to bite the bullet. We live in the information age where we have access to so much valuable data, resources like Reddit and 4chan at our fingertips. Okay, maybe not 4chan. Once you've done the research, make an informed decision to the best of your ability and chances are your future self will be happy with the results. A huge shout out to Theo DeWinter for being the driving force behind my decision to switch majors. I'm forever grateful. Now, I'm totally aware that everyone's situation is different and that you might not have come across someone like Theo to steer you in the right direction. So that's where I come in and give you some tips and lessons that I I learned that will help you make a more informed decision when it comes to picking your major. Tip number one is pretty obvious. Research and narrow down all of your options. For example, if you're stuck deciding between mechanical, electrical, software, or chemical engineering, First, go do some research on Google, YouTube, and Reddit to gain a high-level understanding of each major in terms of curriculum and the type of jobs you can get. See if you can eliminate any right off the bat. Then make a pew chart to rank all of your options. Start by listing things that you value in the rows. For example, salary, job outlook, job security, number of jobs available, versatility, and prestige. Assign a weight to each, one being the least important and five being the most important. List all of the majors you wish to evaluate in the columns and assign a one, zero, or minus one for each criterion. One means good, zero means neutral, and negative one means bad. Multiply each ranking by the weight and sum up all of the rows for each major. The one with the highest score is the best major based on your list of criteria. Tip number two is take courses from other departments. If you're majoring in 
electrical engineering, but you're unsure about computer or mechanical engineering, then you can take an intro class to software engineering or mechanical design to get a feel for what each major is like. If you're a mechanical engineering major unsure about electrical engineering, take a circuits and logic design course. I think you probably get the point. You should also join engineering clubs and do an internship. Chances are if you join robotics, formula racing, or rocket propulsion club, or do an internship, you'll collaborate with different types of engineering students and engineers and see the work that they do firsthand. Take a rocket for instance. Mechanical engineers would design a frame and propulsion system. Electrical engineers would work on the guidance system or avionics that control the rocket in flight. And software engineers would develop critical flight software that read and process inputs from sensors and commands from the ground. Ask yourself these questions to help point you in the right direction when choosing a major. Is my major broad enough? Will I be able to find a job once I graduate? Is my major worth the money I'm paying? or in other words, how much will I be making after I graduate? What am I good at and what are my interests? What products or industries interest me the most? Now, hopefully you can choose your major more confidently and in a more systematic way. As always, thank you so much for watching. And if this video brought you value, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Be sure to check out my playlist here if you're interested in learning about a specific engineering discipline. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.